first time I ever saw pornography was in the fourth grade. And um, I remember throughout my junior high school years, high school, college, I would, um, I would justify it. I would say, come on, this isn't a big deal. You know, nobody gets hurt. All those lies um, about pornography. And I would just basically spout them out to myself if I ever thought, ah, is this right? Should I be looking at this? In the year 1990, we got married. And um, I probably thought that pornography was out of my life forever at that point. Um, but I remember um, just unwise entertainment choices over the years. Just letting it slide and slide and what I would let in our home till eventually um, pornography re-entered my life and I allowed it back in. Man, I was out singing everywhere, um, doing really well in music and um, came down with a sinus infection and it was very hard to sing. So I went and saw a man, uh, a vocal coach named Chris Beatty. He said, Clay, uh, what are you reading right now? How's your prayer life? You, are you reading the Bible? Are you leading your family to Christ? Clay, are you a man of God? And in the year 1998, I didn't have a good answer for any of those questions. A few weeks after that, it was on a Sunday afternoon. That afternoon I told her, um, you know, my voice is a bit out of control right now. But more than that, my life is. And I want to confess to you that um, I'm not the man I should be. And I want to be a better husband to you, better father to our little girls. And um, I went on to confess to her that um, my thought life was just wrong. I was having lustful thoughts and I was only fueling that by seeing pornography. So you got to know, that was the toughest day of our life when I had to tell my wife that, hey, I'm looking at pornography. I don't want to look at it anymore. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of me. I want to change. I know that tough moment led to great strength, a real rededication, a realization that I was a Christian, but I was a long way from him, and I was real self-centered. And I realized that I needed to start living a life way more focused on Christ, but also a life that takes practical steps um, to protect what he's blessed me with, my wife, uh, my kids, my marriage, my family, the ministry he's blessed me with. I mean, I, I would have never thought, okay, he's gonna use my weaknesses. And the, that terrible day I had to confess to Renee that I had struggled with pornography. I thought, man, if we, if we get over this, it's going under the rug and never talked about again. And God had a different idea. He said, well, what if you start sharing with people about that? That uh, that was uh, a problem in your life? and could continue to be a problem in your life if you, if you get self-centered, but that it drew you closer to me and you can point people to me through that, maybe even in a more effective way than writing and singing hit songs. Sitting here today, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that he uses me and my life uh, and my challenges and the real stuff in my life to, to show people how great he is and how he deals through every situation to draw people closer to himself. And you know what? That he cares about every person and the situation they're going through.